In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Web Sketchpad to create an animated model of this visual proof of the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to start with the image on the right, a square inscribed inside a square, and build that first. So I'll scroll down to my Web Sketchpad model, and I'll start by making a segment with one endpoint at the vertex of the square and the other that lies anywhere along the side of the square. I can drag this point back and forth. Now I'd like to replicate this length here, because if I can do that, if we look back to my original image, you'll see that this is of length A, and this length here is also of length A. And if I can find this point, and I already know this point, then I have two vertices of my inner inscribed square, and I can then construct it. So to find this point here that creates a segment of length equal to this segment, I'm going to use the circle by center and radius tool. When I tap on that, I see a preview of a circle and its radius. So this segment determines the radius of this circle. So I'm going to place the center of the circle right here at the vertex of my square, and I want the radius of the circle to be equal to the length of this segment. So I'm going to match this glowing endpoint to that point, and the other glowing endpoint to the other end of my segment. So now I have my circle, and if I drag this point, notice that the circle grows and shrinks in unison with it. So now I know that this point right there, and I'll construct it, creates a segment from here to here that's of the same length as this segment. So now I can build my square. I'll tap on the square tool, and I'll tap to merge one vertex here and the other vertex there. And now I have my inscribed square with four congruent right triangles sitting around it. Now, on the image here on the left, I'm going to be using the same technique of copying this length here, this segment, multiple times. Because if you look back at my original picture, there are multiple lengths of length A, which is where we started with this segment here of length A. So I need to replicate that over here. So back to my web sketchpad model. I'm going to double tap on this icon to keep it active, that particular tool. And let's put a circle with center here and a radius equal to this length and another circle here, same radius. And one last time, circle here and our familiar friend, that radius. And now we're done. Now I can use the segment tool to connect these intersection points. And one more time. And while we're at it, let's add in these diagonals of the rectangles to create our four congruent right triangles that are congruent to the right triangles here. And now all that's left to do is to tap on the visibility widget and select those objects that I do not want to see. And that would be these four circles. And tap again, and they are hidden. So now when I drag this point, we see that these images move together in unison, and my four right triangles on the right and the four on the left are all congruent. I can also use the Animate Point tool to make this animated. When I tap on that, I get a preview of a point that will animate when I press the Animate Point button. And what point is it I want to animate? It's this one right here, so I'll tap on it to merge those two points together. And now I can tap on Animated Point. And I can stop it and resume the animation. 